alright guys um, this is your assignment and we'll be doing something really really close to this um, so that you know how to approach something like this next time um, mind you you are told to replicate something and you should replicate that's what the word means you know what stands for something right so when they say you replicate you should replicate maybe there was a miscommunication I don't know but yeah try to read the instructions very very clearly carefully and then before you start whatever you are creating that's just a suggestion and don't forget to ask questions so let's get on with it all right okay so let's go to our VS code and this is what we have we have um, a folder called play inside the folder we have an assets folder with just one image inside and then we have index.html then styles.css so let's create our boilerplate I would hold on shift and one and to create the exclamation mark so hitting clicking on this would fill it up with our boilerplate right I've already started my local host so if you go to if you come here sorry let me close this down um, yeah so there's nothing here right but if I refresh you'd see that we now have our documents up here which is documents here but I'm going to change this to Tracy's task during the previous course she was the first person to join so I'm just going to use Tracy throughout this whole demonstration alright and then what's the next thing let's check what we are supposed to create so we have a container here right yeah meanwhile we have not linked the styles.css so i'm just going to come here and right link select css and then style.css but ours is styles so i'm just going to add an s here and then go into the style to make sure everything is working i'm going to target the body tag and i'm going to say your background color is going to be crimson let's check So maybe we'll have to like refresh this yeah all right so that's working so let me take this off because we don't really need this all right so let's create our let's create our HTML elements first of all now let's go back to the assignment what's the first the first is this image right so I'm going to first of all create a container using a div and the container is going to be called the div is going to be called container that's the class right so that's the container containing everything that we are working on all right so now we have our container of course this container it's going to be this guy where everything is inside right so that's that then what's next next is the image so i'm going to create a div it's very good practice to have your image inside a div right and where's our image like i said before our image is inside this assets folder and it's called luffy.jpg so what do i do i would say assets which is this then luffy yeah so that's our image and if we check our sites we should have that image here which is this then coming back hopefully you guys know who luffy is if you don't it's fine <laughs> It's, um, it's an anime character or anime however you pronounce it all right so what's next we have um, we have joy girl and then we have hello my joy girl at gmail.com so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a h2 tag here and I'm going to call it Tracy and then for the mail I'm going to use a p tag and I'm going to say hi Tracy at gmail.com yeah so what next we have the about me which is kind of big but I'm still going to use a history tag I'm going to call it about me and come back then we have a block of text and I'm going to say hi everyone my name is Tracy and I am a graphic designer and stylist I love 
version and um, I would love to add web development alright so um, the text block of text is moving away from the screen alright so to fix that we can hold an alt and then press Z so once you have hold an alt and press Z it's going to wrap your text so that it doesn't flow away from the screen if you don't know what that is it's called word wrap you can also find it here if you go to view and you have word wrap currently selected and the the shortcut is alt plus z right all right so um i love fashion i would love to add web development to my skill set so i signed up for the top cohorts of the just projects 2023 and hopefully it is a success all right so that's that so that's that for the block of text for now we're just going to make use of that and then lastly we have the higher me which is a button um you can start your buttons to be um you can start your buttons to be uh, using an a tag right so i personally i, I just i love using a tags for buttons so i'm just going to use a tag and then i'm going to write higher me here so currently look at what we have here um we have we have this we have the tracy we have the mail we have about me we have this large block of text and then we have hire me right so you can say that we are done with you can say that we are done with the html so let's move now to the css all right so let's do some bit of styling first of all um here's the trick if you want your image to be a perfect circle like this then the image has to be a the image has to be a perfect square right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open my file manager this is the image here and it's 225 by 225 so the width is 225 the height is 225 so this will work perfectly so all I have to do now in the CSS is I'm going to target the image tag. I can give it a class, which is good, but for now I'm just going to target directly. Okay, all right. Let's just do best practice, right? So I'm going to I'll give it an alt text first. I'll just call it Luffy. I'll give it a class of um, Luffy One Piece. Luffy One Piece. So I'll come here and I'll say. Luffy One Piece. That's the name of the class. Then I'll just give it a border radius of fifty percent. And let's see what we have. Right. So this gives you a perfect circle. Of course, you can always also target it and reduce the width. You can say, okay, the width I want it to be like fifty percent of its original size. Okay, that's scary. Let's say five percent. Let's see what what we have. Five percent. Okay, that's too small. Let's say fifteen percent. Mm, let's just stick with ten percent. All right, I think that's fine. Although this is really really small, but I think this is also not so bad, right? Um, we can make it five. Let me see. Okay, not so bad. So this is five percent, right? Then next is the joy girl. So that's H three. If I'm not correct. If I'm not wrong, which is okay, H2 rather, that's Tracy. So I can just come here and say, okay, for H2, I want your font weight to be like really, really bold. So I would just say 700, which is bold. Then your font size would be, let's try 36 pixels just for the heck of it. So this is it here. So it's kind of bold, kind of. Oh, oh, that's too much, rather. Let's let's make it 24. Yeah, it's kind of small here. Yeah, 24. Then we'll go to the P tag, which is the third one, which is this 
um, the mail, right? So the mail, I'm going to make it small. So I'm just going to say, I'm going to give it a class. I'll just give it a class of email. I'm, I'm giving it a class because we have two p tags here. So if I just select p and style, it's going to affect both this and this. So I don't want that. I want this to have mail here. So when I go to the style.css and I target mail, I can see your font size is going to be really small, maybe like 14 pixels. Let's see what we have. Yeah, it's kind of small. So that's fine. There is still something I'm going to do, but for now, let's just get done with this for now, right? Um, now, the, the about me is H3. So, and we have just one history on the document, so I'm just going to use the H3 tag. And then I'm going to make it a bit bigger than the H2. So I'm going to say font size is going to be like 32 pixels, for instance. Yeah, so it's kind of bigger than Tracy, because this is kind of bigger than this guy. Yeah, so I'm going to make it like 6, and then I'll also make it bold, so the font weight is 700 so font weight is just how thick your font is right so from 100 100 is very light 200 very light 300 i think 100 is like extra light 200 300 400 is regular 500 is medium 600 is semi bold 700 is bold 800 extra bold and all of that and i think now there is like black right so those are the um those are the font widths we have. So uh, that's bold. And then there's something we are going to do here before we do this guy, right? We're going to color the container. So let's let's go up because the container comes first. So I'm going to place it up up there. So the container, I'm going to give it a background color of. I'm going to use teal since I'm not doing exactly what we have. When you are working on yours, you have to do exactly what we have, but me i'm not right yeah there's also something else i want to do as well if you check this code you see that there's a bit of space here there's a bit of space here there's a bit of space here um, some of this these spaces are not in the css there's nothing like those spaces in the css right margins and padding there's nothing so it comes with your browser so the best thing for you to do before you start to code you have to select all the elements on your code with this x or with this star sign and then you have to give set your padding to zero your margins to zero and then box sizing is for a box and that would clear all those spaces that we had and now this is perfect for us now the box the container as you can see is stretching all the way to the end so we don't want that we want it to stop somewhere here right so you have to like use your eye to to gauge that okay like where would somewhere how many percentage is this because you don't want to make use of fixed weights you want to make use of percentages it makes a whole lot of sense to make use of percentages so the container is it the full width no we want just a percentage of the full width so we are going to see the width is going to be like I don't know 35 percent let's see what we have and it's some it stops somewhere here which is kind of big so i'll just reduce it to 30 and let's just make use of 30 so 30 is fine right 30 is fine meanwhile our image now looks very very small <laughs> so <laughs> so you might be wondering why is it that small is that small because now the container that it's getting its width from so previously it was Where's the image? This is our image here. It's 5%. So the full width is 100% of the... The full width is 100%, right? So it's 50%. It was 5% of the full width and it was kind of big. But now the full width is stops here. So 5% of this is kind of really, really small. Right? That's why it's this small. So you have to increase the width to maybe, let me say, 15%. Yeah. So I think this this should work. I think this will work fine for us, all right? And then the container, you can also give it a padding. So you can say, all right, I want the top to be like, I want the padding, everything should just be like 20 pixels. Oh, 
oh sorry i was adding that to the <laughs> to the image yeah i meant the container itself containing everything so i want the pattern to be like let's use one rim yeah so this is what we have here so we have this yeah the only thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to go back to i'm going to go back here i'm going to copy everything we have here and then paste it like twice yeah so it comes down a little and that's better much better of course in your own assignment you have to like write real stuff but that's fine so um so what's next next is we have to style this guy right so what how do we style him we have to target the a tag because we made use of the a tag this tag a tag so we're going to say all right the a tag we want you to have a weight of 50 percent of its container um this is like 50 percent of the container yeah so i think that's fine and we have, want you to have it a color of white a background color of white um yeah and border radius of i don't know maybe eight pixels what do we have here so this is what we have here it looks somehow but if we if we kind of um give it a bit of padding padding of um maybe one rim which is too much i think yeah I'm correct let me scrub a little so if we give it a padding of one rim to the top and bottom two rim let me see okay okay let's let's try 12 here okay let's try 20 here okay let's try 25 26 instead yeah i think that's that's perfect that's perfect so what do we do here um this underline most times personally i always put underlines here because so like um text decoration so I always take away the underline by saying none. So it goes, it takes away the underline that was in this text. And then on the A tag, I'm going to give it the text color of teal, which which is the background color. Sorry, just color, not text color <laughs> of teal. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Oh, I'm going to make it a bit bold the text. So I'm going to say font weight. Is going to be semi bold. Yeah, and that's fine. Um, you may be wondering why is this here? Um, okay, don't worry. We're still going to get there. It's not a problem. Yeah, but for now, let's let's change the the text color of everything, right? Even the yeah of everything. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to give. I will select everything and then I'll say you're going to have a color of white and then I would add white to everything so yeah again this symbol is selecting everything right so any property that a color of white can be added to can be applied to it would apply to it because we are selecting every element so that's what's happening there all right um so so what's left what's left is adding a bit of spacing to these guys right because um all the whole spacing is too cramped right so we use our padding and our margins to do that of course if you want to create spacing between two elements you use your margins not padding so this is the first guy i want to give a bit of space in there that's the image so we're going to go to our code and then go to the image which is this one piece um, it has a div though so I would love to use like the div to create that space so I'm just going to call this give it a class and call it image container so here I'm going to image container should have a margin 
Let me see. Yeah, it has to be margin bottom. Margin bottom of. Um, let's try one rim. One rim is 16 pixels. So there's a bit of space now. Yeah. Let's try two rim. Two rim looks kind. Of, one rim looks kind of too small. Is this even working? Let me try 20 rim. Yeah, it's not working. So let me see the, my the mistake I made. Image container. Okay. Image container. Margin bottom of two rim. Okay. Let me refresh this. Alright, so it's working. It's, I had to refresh it. I don't know why it's not automatically. Yeah, so this is this is too much. So let me see 0 0.5 frame, which is 8 pixels. This is fine. This is almost perfect. And the trace is going to be really, really small. So that's the H2. So I'm going to see margin bottom. It's going to be like 4 pixels or something. Yeah, really, really small. And then. I'm going to target the about me, but there's a bit of gap here, like kind of really large. So the about me is H2, H3, so I'm going to come to H3 and I'm going to say margin bottom, sorry, top, not bottom. It's going to be 3 rem. Because I targeted this guy, so if I do bottom, I'm adding space in bottom, but I, I just need top, right? So that's why I did that that way mm, let me, let's try 2.5 I think 3 rem is too much yeah that's fine and then I'm going to say margin bottom it's going to be like 1 or 0 0.5 rem yeah just a bit of space here and now we have this block of text um, which is fine I think but I just have to increase it their size a little bit so I'm going to give it a class and call it paragraph right and then I'm going to come here and I'll say paragraph your font size is going to be 18 pixels just a little bit over the default now you might be wondering why this guy is just on top of this guy the margins are not really working um, let me explain what I mean so in the paragraph text if I add a bit of margin to the bottom let's say I say margin bottom is 2 rem for instance oh it worked but normally let me comment that out so that you see why this guy is on top of this guy even though it's on its own so a tags are inline elements <coughs> right so that that's why this is happening um had it been i said okay i want to change the display from inline to like block for instance or inline block or whichever you see that it now leaves its content it now leaves its content yeah uh but for now i think inline block is the best to go for yeah but I'm just going to take it off till you understand what inline blocks and all of that is all about. Yeah, because if 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 I went back and I said okay, inline block, whatever, then I would have to change this width to fit content or something, and that would work perfectly. But for now, I don't think we should be doing all of that. So just use your margins, and you should be fine yeah so all you have to do is come here add a margin bottom to push this guy down and then uh then the button itself i think we can add a bit of margin margin bottom as well of um two rem let's see okay, that didn't work as, <laughs> as i expected so inline elements are very tricky to work with but if you understand what's happening it becomes a bit easier um okay so let, let me try something something ridiculous oh, okay that would work okay so one rem top one rem 
left and right then three rem bottom yeah that fixed that so i targeted the container and i said i want one rem up here i want still one rem left and right and then i want three rem down here and that's fixed that space here so yeah so that's um pretty much your assignment of course you can change the font you can say i don't like this font so i'm targeting everything and i'm saying the font family would have to change i want to change to another default font family maybe tribuchet or something and that changes the font to this one you know so if you're able to do something like this then you did a wonderful job even if it's not as even if it's not like this but like something along this way like the whole width not spanning across the whole page and all of that if you're able to do all of that then you did an excellent job and um well done of course if you have questions you can always ask and i'll do my best to reply you either on the channel or my dms or wherever all right you guys should take care of yourselves practice practice and practice Bye.